What's going on guys? It's uh, Cody back again with uh, some more stuff on my truck. I realized I haven't made a video in three years and my most popular video was the one with the security system. And it's crazy um, how many comments I got. I had to delete only about two. It was two or three. It was only about two or three really bad, really mean comments. But I did what I could. It was mostly about me talking. But I know you guys don't really care about that. I helped a lot of you out more than people that got mad. So, um, Just kind of an update on how Walker's doing. I don't know if I said in my last video, but... It's the name of my it's the name of the good old taco. He is doing, he is doing great. Now, uh, now, what have I done in the past three years? Probably of all the things I did was I made a boneheaded mistake, and we all have those. And I was on my phone while driving when I shouldn't have been, and there was I was going to pull into a Starbucks. There was a big butthole pole it was a huge pole like you you can't miss it but because i literally was on my phone early in the morning driving i made the boneheaded mistake and i ran into that pole and I, oh my god i put a dent and here's the here was a good thing it didn't touch the frame all it bent was the crash it bent the crash bar and i needed it bent the new crash bar and it pretty much was a thousand dollar mistake Technically 900, but a thousand, I'll explain. And yeah, so I had to get a new grill, a new hood, and a new bumper, front bumper. And that wasn't hard. And the cool thing was it actually didn't damage the radiator, which is awesome. So I got a pretty cool, so I spent an extra hundred than what I could have spent. Instead of getting a regular front grill, I got a pretty cool one. I'll show you guys. It says, it says Toyota, it's got the amber lights, but everything else is the same, you know. I had a, got a new front bumper and new hood. I installed those in the beginning of 2023. And that, and that stupid mistake was like October 2023, or 2022. But yeah, um, the, the truck's been working absolutely great. The security system... um. The original key fob, I just, I have it. I just haven't been using it. I used it for a while, but then some plastic broke off. I just need to mend the plastic on the key fob, but the key fob's been working fine. Now, some other stuff that I have, I don't know if y'all y'all ever saw this, but um, I did. So there's no, obviously there's no, you know, back headlock tights. So I put those in and forget if my truck's a little bit messy, but I wired it into this button right here it used to light up but there's some weird with it now but I, I don't care it works press this and then those back ones turn on i'll show you guys real quick press those and those will turn on so a, yeah i gotta make sure i'm not i ha don't have those on while i'm on the road but yeah the yeah Bed's fine. Everything's working great. Now, a couple things I have had to do. Um, so, I the, the powering system steering, I really need a new one. I really need a new one. It keeps going out. And what I'm doing currently is I keep putting new... Um, so, the 2001 Tacoma takes a transmission fluid. So, what I've been currently doing is I've been continuously adding transmission fluid... Um, or I keep topping it off and it lasts me a couple months, but then I have to do it again. I just need a whole new system. There's a leak in it somewhere. I, I just, I, I gotta figure it out somehow. Oh, my phone's being, I'll get back to the video in just a second. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. My phone was being weird and it's like, you don't have enough time to record. So I had to delete some stupid videos. But yeah, so the last, so the things I've had to fix were my stupid mistake, and then and then also a pending fix that I don't have to fix now. Obviously, as I was talking about, was the power steering. Um, something else I recently fixed. So constantly, I kept trying to put free on because my AC wasn't working, and my dad had to help me with that because he's a lot more versed than I am with the AC units. And what we eventually did, we were just like, screw it, let's put some stop leak in there, and then put some free on to see if that worked. And 
lo and behold, that was the trick. The, the stop leaked worked amazing, and it, it hasn't gone out since. It's been a hot summer, and it's the AC's been holding up great. And again, it's an older car, so it needs to be moving for the AC to like truly work. But yeah, the, yeah, the AC's been working great. Um, trying to think of what else I've done. Oh yeah, I know the brakes went out for, or the brakes were getting re, the brakes got bad for a little bit, and what I ended up, we we had to end up bleeding the brakes and bleeding the brakes, and then um, I, we had to replace the brake pads because they were screeching. All the front, I still don't, thank God with the 24, 24 Tacoma, the Toyota was like, let's not use um, brake pad, let's not do brake pads on the front and drums in the back anymore, let's just do it fluid, and I forget which one they did on the 2024, but I've always thought that was so weird why they chose to do drums in the back and um, strips in the front, I, I, I have no idea why, if any of y'all do know, let me know in the comments why Toyota did that, but my, me and my dad, I don't know why they chose to do that. Maybe they have a reasoning, but I don't know. But yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Everything other than that, everything's been great. Starts up every time. Not had a problem with the ignition. Oh yeah, with the ignition. Um, there was a problem with that. I think a uh, year and a half ago. So what we ended up having to do was we had to completely change. We had to change the um keyhole or whatever. So now there's a key. I have two keys. On my keychain for my truck, one that unlocks it and one that starts and one that starts it because uh, we had to change the where you turn the key. I just listen. I'm not too first in cars, but I just know my truck. But we had to replace um, the key where you turn it in, so I have to have two keys for it now. Um, and I just I can use the I need to start using the key fob again. Honestly, I have it. I just I just need to take time to put that plastic together. Um, and then the last cool thing I did, oh, before I, sh my brother got me this for my birthday. It was my, it's my last little sticker I put on there. It's a little baby Yoda and it's toy Yoda. I thought that was cute. And then the last coolest thing I've done, let me pull this out. Is it going to let me show you guys? Maybe. Yeah. Oh god, there's some trash. Give me two seconds. Let me move some trash out of the way so you guys don't have to look at that. So um I got so Christmas I got a Kenwood sub. Um so you can see kind of where it is with how big it is with that's the seat. That's how big the sub is. I'll show you from the bottom. It's not too tall. And the cool thing is a sub and an amp. And it's been great, honestly. Um, it, it's honestly been great. It sounds great. Highly recommend it, honestly. The reason I put it under the passenger seat is my very first car was a Subaru, 2002 Subaru Outback. And it had a sub under the passenger seat, and it worked really well. And the only thing I didn't like, but it was necessary, I had to bolt it into the frame for it to stay. And I was like, ah, I didn't feel comfortable with it. My brother was like, we have to. And I was like, okay. But yeah, that's kind of everything that's going on with Walker. Um, uh, yeah, he's he's doing great. A little, little right now, a little bit messier than usual. But yeah, also cosmetics for holding your phones and stuff. I know some people say, you know, do the vent. I hate the ones that go in here. I'm telling you, this thing right here, it's called by Fitfort for holding your phone. This thing has been. Nothing short of amazing. Like, when it comes to holding your phones, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I've been using this for, like, five years now. Best phone holder I've ever had. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. Five years in usage, and I absolutely love it. Hasn't failed me. Stickiness is great. Still good after five years. Highly, highly recommend it. And I don't know if you guys know. I may have may not have shown it. Yeah, but I think in one of my videos, I showed the wiring. But this is a... um. So it automatically dims at night. It automatically dims at night and it also works as a backup camera. So that's really, really cool. But yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I really don't think I have any say. That's just kind of everything that's 
I've done that's going on with Walker. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or want me to like dive deeper into something I've done or looked at or anything like that. And I know one guy said in the comments recently, which made me think about making this video, he was asking me why, um, if I had the schematics and I do, I will be sending you this in the comments, but I'll throw it in the, throw it in the video. Give me a second to find it. Yeah, my girlfriend and I go camping a lot, so this has turned into a utility vehicle right now. Um, oh, and also, I meant to tell you guys, so something I have to replace soon. Um, my brother is a technician at Ford, so he's obviously he's a lot more of the car guy than I am. And he is a technician at Ford, and he, um, took, he, he you know, he rotated my tires for me and because he works there. And something he noticed was that my rack and pinion was about to go out. So I've got to buy that soon. And as you guys know, Toyotas will run, that, those engines will run and run till they rust to, rust to death if you take care of them. And replacing that rack and pinion after this truck running for 20 years is just taking care of it. And also, funny enough, um, I'm about to hit, I'm at 382,000. Heading towards 390,000 miles. Absolutely crazy. Hold on, I had it... Let me find this for y'all. I wanted to... I should have probably pulled this out. It's in here. Give me give, give me two seconds, y'all. Is that it? I think I found it. Yeah! So, after my last video uh, in my dad's garage with a ton of his old stuff, so after that last video, y'all will never guess what I found. Check this out. The manual for the key fob! Bro, I, I couldn't... Here is the whole thing. I will be sent. I will send y'all all the pages, but this is the name of it. There's a whole manual for it. And it's called the RS3000. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, posting all the. Uh, I'm gonna take a ton of photos of the whole manual, and I will put it in the comment section on my last video. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great God bless day and I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of seeing uh, what Walker's been been doing after these past three years. And he's gonna have um, a long, 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 long rest of his life, hopefully. And the journey to 400,000, it's like terrible. And I, I, I feel like I'm this truck's retirement. My dad did a lot of stuff with his truck. He wasn't supposed to because he didn't have a V8. But yeah, hope you guys have a rest of your God bless day and I will catch you in the next video. If you want me to dive into something I talked about with Walker or something like that, just let me know. Again, if you guys are wondering, it is a 2001 limited, 2001 limited edition Toyota Tacoma. Um, it is 3.4 liter V6 and is automatic. I'm one of the first automatics. But yeah, hope you guys have a God bless day.